Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Devyani and I make a lot of informational videos about living and studying in the UK. So if you're somebody who is planning to visit the UK or are living in the UK on a tourist visa or student visa or anything else, there are some emergency contact numbers that you should know to keep yourself safe and your surroundings safe. So apart from the normal few, there are a lot more phone numbers which could be accessible for you depending on your situation. So in this video, let's go through all of them. But before we begin, let's take a minute to talk to you about this video sponsor, which is Amber Student. So if you know somebody who is moving to the UK to do their bachelor's or master's degree, they can book an accommodation with Amber Student. I've added the link in the description box below. All they have to do is like search by the university name. Like for example, I'm studying at King's College London. And then they can just scan through the accommodations and then they can directly inquire from the website itself. So make sure if you know anybody who is an emergency of finding an accommodation who has come here as a student check out amber student so the first number you can call is 999 so this is the primary emergency number in the uk which is used to contact police fire ambulance coast guard or anything so if there is something which is life-threatening or a serious injury or which is like a crime in progress or a fire you can see like if you need emergency help now 999 is a number to call similarly there is a number called 112 which is exactly same as 999 but just is just to unify it along with the eu numbers like in the european union if there's an emergency you call 112 similarly in uk you use 999 as well as 112 so anything emergency like you know like a life-threatening one crime you can call this number if there is something which is non-emergency, like if you see something, if you want to report something to the police, you can call 111, or oh, sorry, 101. Um, it says accident, theft, property damage, or any other information related to crime, you can call 101. Coming to 111, which is the in NHS non-emergency helpline. So with 111, uh, if you try to book an appointment with your GP, with your local GP, and if you're not able to get any help, you can just call 111 and ask for emergency, like medical help, or if you're feeling something, like you can just talk to them and they can help you out. Um, they can also refer you to an emergency hospital nearby. So if you have like feeling something and if you feel that you want to go to the hospital, they can also send a cab for you, which is free of charge. So for anything related to your health, 111 is the way to go. Coming to 105, so this is the power cut emergency line. So you can call 105 to report or get information on any power cut. So this is a free service. So you can just like, okay, when is the electricity gonna come back? There is an issue in my area, what do I do? So that is the number you call. So coming to the national gas emergency service number, you call 0800111999. So if, if you smell gas or there's like, like a gas leak, you can immediately call maybe like a carbon monoxide leak as well, which can make people crazy, by the way, if you know those stories. Um, so anything related to gas, you can call this number. Or if you find it like very emergency or life threatening, which, you know, like a gas blast or something, then 999 or 112 is the way to go. Then you can call 116103. It is called the Samarthi samaritan's helpline i don't know how to pronounce that well but this is like a free confidential helpline but if you're having like distress or suicidal thoughts if you want to talk to an expert if you're feeling sad like you know having a person to talk to is always helpful always prioritize your mental health so 116103 feel free to give them a call and there will be somebody to help you out and listen to whatever you have to say and coming to the Crime Stoppers UK number, so if you want to call to report a crime but you want to stay anonymous, like you don't want to like reveal your identity, you call 0800304050. So this is a number you can call and get that information. Then if there is somebody who is missing or you want to find information about a missing person, you can call 116000 where you can get that kind of information. Then 08080870222 is the Environment Agency Incident Hotline. So this number is to report like 
illegal things related to environment like pollution dumping of hazardous material environmental hazards so anything like if you see something wrong happening if somebody's mixing chemicals in something you can definitely call the emergency hotline for the environment which is again 08088070222 so here I have like clubbed a few other emergency numbers, which are like two on the same slide, which are in the same category. But for child and safety abuse, you can call, call any of these numbers, which is 0800111, which is a confidential helpline for children and young people under 19. So this is also a free thing. So if you wanna like report something like abuse, bullying, mental health, so this is specifically for children and NSPC, NSPCC helpline, which is a number here. This is for adults which are concerned about the welfare of a child. So these are the two separate numbers. Then you talk about domestic violence and abuse. So the National Domestic Abuse Helpline is right here. Then there is also special advice for uh, men who are victims of domestic violence, which I think is awesome. If somebody wants to reach out, there's a specific line, line number for that. And also for if you're from the LGBTQA community, then you can call a different number which is mentioned here then for elderly and vulnerable adults uh, you have the age uk advice line so they give like free and confidential advice for older people and their families they can help you with welfare housing and health so this is if you have any questions related to that you can feel free to ask and then elder abuse as well so if there's somebody who's like mistreating elders in the family or something like that you can call the number provided here then homeless and housing is another one so if you need like shelter or um, then we have the homeless and then we have the homeless and housing helpline so the shelter helpline is mentioned here so you get a free helpline advising on housing and homeless issues and emergency housing needs then the street link number is to report homeless people like sleeping to the rough so that they can help get the help and support they need so if you have like a house and there's somebody who is sleeping outside you can call this number and they can like you know help out to find the best option for the homeless person and get the things they need and the final one is rape and sexual assault hopefully nobody has to call this number like most of the numbers nobody has to call but uh, the rape crisis national helpline is given here so it provides uh, support and information for all the affected people by rape or sexual assault so they have timing so you can't call them anytime but uh, from 12 p.m to 12 30 p.m and 7 p.m to 9 30 p.m daily and then there's a survivors uk then there is some specific number for male victims of sexual abuse so this provides uh, support and counseling for men who have gone through that so if you know any other emergency numbers which i might have missed please feel free to comment down in the description box below and um, stay safe stay healthy and keep these contacts you know safe in your phone like save all of them so that if you ever need them you have them handy thank you